This is Violet Coomer Weiland with your News in 90 for Monday, September 14th. Here's your first story. A Florida amusement park worker fell to his death this morning. The accident happened while the 21-year-old man was performing a safety check on a ride at Icon Park in Orlando. The attraction, called the Star Flyer, is a swing ride. It's 450 feet in the air. The man was about 200 feet up when he fell. He died in the hospital. The ride will be closed while police investigate. Tropical Storm Sally is now a hurricane. The winds from the storm rapidly intensified to 90 miles per hour. Sally is now classified as a Category 1 storm. More strengthening is possible today and tomorrow as the storm comes slowly towards the Gulf Coast. Landfall is expected somewhere near Gulfport, Mississippi. Hurricane warnings extend from Louisiana to the Alabama-Florida border. In places where stay-at-home orders are in effect, the number of COVID infections in those areas dropped. This information comes from a new study published in the journal JAMA Network Open. Researchers used data from 45 million cell phones between March 11th and April 10th. They could see how far and how often people traveled each day. Experts say as mobility went down, there was a decrease in COVID transmission as well. The findings highlighted the results in states with the most infections. Experts say this research is an indication of what can happen if certain steps aren't taken soon enough or if they are let up too early. That's your News in 90. I'm Violet Comber Weiland. But remember, your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.